What's happening, everybody? Time for another NBA primetime prop drop brought to you by Picks and Parlays. My name's Allie Burns, and I am brought to you by FanDuel Sportsbook. They've got a no sweat first bet for all new accounts up to a thousand bucks. All you got to do is click on the link that's in the description of this video. With me, as always, my partner in crime. What's up, Scott Reichel? How you doing? I do him pretty well. Uh, yesterday ended up breaking even, so it could have been better, could have been worse. Uh, Fox, unfortunately, needed one assist with about five and a half minutes to go. Didn't get there, but still went two and two, so can't really complain. There you go, and your record's 35-35, so, I mean, we're making people money still. You know, lots of plus money in that 35 and 35, so let's just keep it on rolling. Um, for this Wednesday, November the 23rd, we've got a couple we're going to talk about. Let's start out with the Cavaliers. Oh, I got two plays in this game, but starting off with the center, I'm going to go with Jared Allen over 10 and a half rebounds at plus 110. Uh, going through his numbers this season, he's averaging over 11 rebounds per game. So he has been a very good rebounder all season long. And against Portland, he's done very well. He's recorded at least 13 rebounds in each of the last three games against the Trailblazers. And most importantly, his matchup, Nurkic, can't really shoot that well from the outside. So Allen should be in the paint constantly battling with Nurkic throughout the game. I think he should be in the paint grabbing a lot of boards. And I do think this number is a, is a little bit too short, especially at plus money. All right. I love me some plus money. Okay, so let's move into Donovan Mitchell, also on the Cavaliers. So I'm going to go with his point total over 25 and a half at minus 125. He's had at least 29 points in six of his last eight games. And he's also been good against Portland offensively as he has scored uh, 30 plus points in two of his last three games against the Trailblazers. But Mitchell's been incredible ever since he ended up showing up in Cleveland and Portland defensively has been pretty good this year, struggling a bit lately. And I do think that Mitchell should have a mismatch with basically whoever's guarding him. I think Mitchell has a big game here. Maybe it goes north of 30, but 25 and a half, I think, is a little bit too low. All right, let's do it. So Pelicans are at the Spurs today. What do you got happening here? So for this one, going to go with a role player. I'm going to go with Herb Jones over half a three-pointer at minus 140. Uh, going through his recent numbers, he's actually been pretty decent when it comes to shooting. He's made two three-pointers in three of his last four games. He's also attempted a decent amount of threes. He's attempted at least three three-pointers in four of the last five games. And most importantly, San Antonio really, really bad at guarding the three-point line. San Antonio is so bad, they're actually dead last in opponent three-point percentage. So if you're going to give me a guy that should be attempting three-plus three-pointers, he's going to play a decent amount of minutes. And I do think if you just need one of those three to go in, I'll take my chances. I know yesterday we ended up taking an over a half with another player with Harrison Barnes for steals, but you just need one to go your way and you're against the worst three-point shooting defense in the league. I think it's a pretty good prize. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. So then we've got the Timberwolves. They're at the Pacers. Talk to me about Rudy Gobert. So in the NFL portion, we usually do one kicking prop. I think I might start doing one defense prop because it's kind of fun. But I'm going to go with the over half a steal for Rudy Gobert at minus 115. I think this should be a lot higher. Uh, he's had at least one steal in each of the last five games. And Indiana's a fun team. The issue is they turn the ball over a lot because Indiana is allowing 8.3 steals per game, which is the 10th most in the league. The spread's close. Minnesota's favored by two. So you're assuming Gobert should play a lot of minutes in this game. But a guy that's had a steal in five straight, against a team that plays up tempo and a team that is pretty willing to turn the ball over on a regular basis with Indiana. I think it's a great price for the several time defensive player of the year to steal a pass. I'll take the over half a steal at minus 115. All right. That's the way we're going to play it. Scott Reichel, if they're looking for more of your free picks, where can they find them? So you can find my free pick every night, my favorite play on YouTube on the winners and winners page. So check that out. I did a hockey play uh, this past night. Uh, besides that, doing the college football show on the Winners and Winners show, actually today, it's usually on Friday, but with the Thanksgiving schedule and everything like that, you have a decent amount of college games either on like Friday or Saturday. Or I I'm trying to think if there's a game on Thursday. I doubt it. But the schedule is a little bit weird this week, so we're doing it early. And besides that, I also do this show with you four times a week, and I crash Morningwood every other week. So I'll spare you this week. I'll annoy you next week. All right, that's fair. Um, Mississippi State's at Ole Miss on Thursday. That gotta have more cowbell. 
on through. Yeah, exactly. Can never have enough cowbell. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the content, like, share, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications so you just keep getting more. If you're looking for me, I'm at Plus Money Honey over on Twitter. Don't forget about at Rishel Radio. That's your NBA primetime prop drop for this Wednesday. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.